Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Welcome back. And those of you that are new, welcome. I put up a warning label because Marjorie Taylor Greene got him shook up today at the two IRS whistleblowers, how Hunter Biden was using flying in prostitutes from California and other places, put prostitutes on his company's payroll and used that as a deduction in the IRS filings, but yet wasn't charged. Some people think that flying women across state lines or transporting them, I should say, goes against the Mann Act. But then again, I'm not a federal prosecutor. And apparently, neither are the federal prosecutors. Let's watch. Marjorie Taylor Greene holds up explicit images of Hunter Biden during House Oversight Committee hearing. Now, at the very end, I'm going to show the part of the reaction from AOC, who got the last word at this hearing. But let's, let's, let's move on. And there she is showing a picture there. Not much in there is probably why they showed this one. But there's other pictures as well. Marjorie Taylor Greene held up explicit images of Hunter Biden during the House Oversight Committee hearing on Wednesday. The images are from Hunter Biden's laptop. I would love to know what's on there. Which he had left at a computer repair shop before making its way into the hands of conservative media. Well, all media is just... The mainstream media refuses to talk about it or show it. And if you remember, Twitter and Facebook barred that from their social media sites during the 2020 presidential election, which is direct. Let me repeat that. Direct election interference. The hearing featured two IRS whistleblowers who alleged that the president's son received special treatment during their investigation into business dealings. Before we begin... Green said, I would like to let the committee and everyone here at home that parental discretion is advised. Let me do my PBS voice. Parental expression, discretion is advised. Green said before holding up a poster featuring some of the hundreds of sexual images found on the hard drive. And President Biden says his son Hunter is the smartest person he knows. And he left all this on a laptop and didn't pick it up from a repair shop. Oh, okay. You know, the images on the poster had the faces of his sexual partners obscured, but Hunter's face was visible. Well, yeah, everybody knows who Hunter Biden is, right? Let's listen to one of the clips, and we'll see what she says. I would like to uh, present this to the committee. This is showing Hunter Biden paying for a victim's United flight from L.A. to Dulles. This was a... I believe this is a violation of the Mann Act. This is Hunter Biden's, this is his uh, proof that he bought the ticket. He bought it for this woman right here. Um, she, he flew her from Los Angeles to Washington on June 14th, flew her back to uh, Los Angeles, California on June 15th of 2018. And I would like to... Um, point out that if he was purchasing her a plane ticket for sex and traveling across state lines, do you believe that to be a violation of the Mann Act, Mr. Ziegler? Yeah, and he goes on a little bit with that. Let's just catch up here what she has to say, because it's uh, more important than what he has to say, frankly. Sorry. As the law states, by the, by the code of the law, it states traveling, paying someone to go across state lines is, is prostitution. It's a violation of the Mann Act. Let me just move on just one more, one more second here. Uh, so when, her, when Hunter Biden paid for this woman to do this with him, to travel across state lines from California to Washington, D.C. on June 15th, this is a violation of the Mann Act. This was prostitution. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? What does um, what does Homer Simpson say? No. Oh! Green alleges the president's son had used his business to write off payments, and the two whistleblowers agreed. If he was purchasing her a ticket for sex and traveling across state lines, do you believe that violation of the Mann Act? And we're going to get another video here. Now, I do want to say before we watch the next clip that this individual said Hunter Biden tried to write off as a business expense. 
a membership in a club end up being a sex club. And I'll supposedly, and this is supposedly, allegedly, got to say that, all the people that he brought in in airlines and other means of transportation for sex, he wrote off as a business expense. And these whistleblowers say that he did. What they're trying to get at is they picked the least amount of charges to put against Hunter Biden from the IRS and ultimately the DOJ. Uh, not paying, he'll have to pay a small penalty, probably interest for not declaring some income. And that will be it for him. That will be it. All these other business deductions, they haven't called them on. It's amazing to me. I had a business for 22 years. <laughs> I wish I could write off a lot of stuff I did personally. Of course, it wasn't with flying in women from other states, mind you, but I would love to have all the gas I put in my car or or my electric bill at my house or whatever. You can't just do that. You just can't do it. So let's watch a clip here. A foreign-based amateur online pornography platform. Um, this this is evidence uh, Chairman, of, of Hunter Mr. Biden Chairman, making sex. Hey, excuse me, this is my time. Making okay. pornography. Should we be displaying Mr. this, Mr. Mr. Chairman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, here's the thing. And AOC is going to say at the end of this video, as I want to be fair and give the so-called opposition a chance to reply, is the fact of the matter is they think this stuff she showed is over the line. But yet, these exact same congressmen, not Democrats, but these exact same Congress members are upset because certain books aren't allowed in elementary, junior high schools, and high schools, a.k.a. middle schools, and especially kids, children. I mean that in the literal sense, children, with specific Go into my go into detail on two people having sexual acts and explaining exactly how it's done and what happens, whether it's same sex or not. They defend that, but her showing pictures, uh, you can see they're blacked out anyway. Of that, they have a fit and say it's improper, and some called it immoral. You've got to be kidding me, right? This is evidence, Marjorie Taylor Greene said, of Hunter Biden. Greene started to say as chaos erupted in the chamber and someone could be heard asking if it was okay to display the poster in the chamber. But yet, I'll say again, these exact same congressional members, literally the same members, are screaming and hollering because certain reading material in books for kids, elementary school, middle, junior high school, and high school, but especially the elementary kids, and junior high kids, books that are explicit in a showing sexual acts performed by two people, same sex or otherwise, literally goes into minute detail of what happens and how it's done. These people are screaming prejudice, racism, you know, the usual list. Book banning. No one's banning these books. They're only banning the books in the libraries and the curriculum of the schools. They took away Catcher in the Rye, To Kill a Mockingbird. Those are required reading when I was in high school and junior high. Those are epic, epic books. And there's many others. The Color Purple, excellent book. The Killing Mockingbird, excellent book. Uncle Tom's Cabin, excellent book. Catcher in the Rye, though, though depressing, is an excellent book. Granted, it's not the happiest book in the world, but it's, it's, it's literature that I think that late teens, especially high school level, should be required reading. Those were taken out of the curriculum, and I can't say the word, the name of some of the books they're putting in now because the algorithm will kill this video. Se sexual acts explicitly in minute detail explain to children that's okay but to show blacked out pictures of the president's son engaging in unlawful activity i'm not even talking about the moral part i'm not looking at a moral part illegal activity and then turning around and having a lot of those costs involved with these individual women written off on his taxes for his business some he had as employees of his law firm 
Marjorie Taylor Greene says in one of the clips, shows the girl laying on the bed, and she goes, this isn't usually in the job description of a paralegal. <laughs> yeah, they were fake employees, but yet they knew about it and did nothing. The congresswoman tweeted a video of the exchange writing, here is proof Hunter Biden paid prostitutes to his law firm and trafficked his victims across state lines, excuse me, across state lines in violation of the Mann Act. Not only that, IRS whistleblowers confirmed Hunter Biden committed tax fraud by deducting payments to prostitutes from his law firm's taxes. Yeah, but he won't be charged on any of it. Won't be charged on any of it. Now, let's take a look at a clip from all of our favorites, AOC. She gets the last word of this congressional hearing concerning the IRS whistleblowers and Hunter Biden. Now, let's hear what our favorite former bartender has to say. She gets the last word in the congressional hearing here concerning the IRS whistleblowers. And specifically, this is about the Hunter Biden pictures that Marjorie Taylor Greene showed. Let's check it out. Today also marked a new low when pornographic images were paraded in this hearing room. Now, you had absolutely zero problem. Absolutely zero problem with pornographic images in books given to small children. I'm talking about elementary school and middle school, as I consider children. It's not even appropriate for high school, let alone children that go into detail, explicit detail on sexual acts for two humans due to each other. In detail. Same sex and otherwise. Yeah, you had zero problem with that. And when parents complained to school boards and governors said, I won't have this in our schools in this state, and parents said, I don't want my children hearing about this or reading it, you screamed and hollered with veins coming out of your neck. How this is a danger to trans children and people and LGBTA plus whatever the hell the acronym is anymore, I don't even know. You had zero problem with that. But it's your party's president whose popularity is in the toilet and numbers are sinking even further. You're looking over your shoulder and Donald Trump might be coming back. And you are scared to death. And all of a sudden now, she's the voice of reason. You know what? Kiss my Chairman Comer, last October, you told Time Magazine that you were not interested in the sordid details of Hunter Biden's life. You were quoted as saying, quote, that's counter to a credible investigation. And I agree. Sadly, that is a reflection of how low some individuals here have been willing to go in their efforts to attack the president and his family. And frankly, I don't care who you are in this country. No one deserves that. No one deserves that. The horrible things you and your colleagues in the supposed squad said about President Trump and his family. Horrible, rotten, nasty lies upon lie upon lie. You were asked in a 60 Minutes interview, do you believe President Trump's a racist? And you immediately said, oh, yeah, <laughs> like there's no question. To be called a racist in this country anyway is one of the worst things you can call someone in this culture. But yet you guys have used it so much, it has zero meaning anymore. Zero meaning. You know what? What a freaking hypocrite you are. Let's listen to the rest. It is abuse. It is abusive. If Republicans truly want to get to the fact here, and they want to understand why Mr. Weiss decided to charge Hunter Biden the way he did, let's hear from Mr. Weiss. But until then, we must move on from these theories and focus on the issues that matter. These theories? What theories are you talking about? Oh, you mean like the two impeachments that you voted for? That Donald Trump is an agent of the Russians. You and dozens of your other congressional colleagues that sat down. You want to get to the truth? You know what? Are you out of your mind? Are you really that delusional that you believe this horse? 
you know, I, I was going to show this to try to be even handed, but all it did was aggravate me. This person is it's such a compulsive liar. It is so horrible. It, it's amazing to me. Amazing. She's in the minority now. You know how calm she is and how reasonable. And, and the only give me the mindset of these morons is look over AOC's right shoulder at one of her aides. Just look. I can't say anything because this is YouTube and the algorithm will kill this video even more than it already is. Just look at the aide over AOC's right shoulder. That says it all. These people are nuts. And they were in charge of the purse strings of this, this country for two years. Two years. And you ran your mouth screaming and hollering and calling people names and pushing pornography on children and calling it education. And you got the balls to say, we're just trying to get to the truth and we shouldn't talk about pornographic things in this hollow chamber. She didn't say hollow. She would never say that. What a grifter. And I'll tell you the truth. I'll give her credit. She's done extremely well for herself. Extremely well. Just about a millionaire by now. I don't know, man. I guess this grifter oppression Olympics pays big. All of a sudden now she's concerned about the president of the United States family. Well, you know what? Kiss my... And until next time, God bless, goodbye, and good luck.